This is Nate the Radio Star. This video may very well kill him. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. And yes, there's Nate. And where, oh, there he is. Way to break the camera. And Mr. Cody Dalton up front. Musky Attic YouTube, Ohio Musky, if you would like to look into his guide service. This is a wonderful place to come and catch muskies, just not when we're here, because it's cold right now. Uh, just about any other time though, you all should get a hold of Cody and uh, come down to the Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania area and do some musky fishing because it is fantastic down here. We got a beautiful 42 and a half inch fish yesterday, saw a couple others. Uh, but the unfortunate part about all of this is the weather is not cooperating very good. We've got rods icing up, um, so we're dealing with that today. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some uh, fishing out of Cody's boat. We are on a couple, uh, or on a river down here. So we are casting some diving rise, some rubber baits, and we're going to see if we can catch one of these muskies down here. All right, well, we're starting off our second day fishing the little river. We're in Cody's boat. I'm tossing this little white mini Medusa. Got it on the nine foot surgical strike. 2020 rod with the tranks. What's Nate got? Look at this little guy. Eight inch navin. Nate's tossing that. That was one of my favorite baits last year, that little eight inch. He's throwing a surgical strike as well with a 400 tranks. So we are going to see what we can do. Cody's up front tossing a toad. So let's see if we can get us a musky. Coax him out of there. Oh. There we go. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> How you get him in there? It's a fish. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. Oh man. Man, I thought I had a tree limb because I just caught a pop the toad. Yeah. And it just barely moved like a limb and then I seen her white belly roll right <laughs> off the fish. Was she just hanging right up on the shore? Right on the bank, yeah. Okay. Well folks, we caught ourselves yeah. a fish. Uh it is extraordinarily cold out. Uh I should say for this time of year, it, it can happen. It's March, but uh, we have ourselves a fish. Uh, Cody caught it on a, a toad, so we are going to get it taken care of in the net and get a good look at this nice Ohio fish. All right, well, after a little bit of uh, surgery in the net, we got this fish uh, free, and we're going to take a look at it. Not bad. One. Look at that. That is a big fat fish. <laughs> All right. Get her back in? Yep, get All her right. released. She's good. Man, that water's cold. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. I'll deal with this. <laughs> oh, man. That makes it worth it when you can get a fish on a day like today. It looks nice out, but it is cold. You get about six casts in and you gotta warm your hands up and get the ice out of your guides and ugh, it's chilly but we have a fish in the boat uh, i think we got it on a miner so seems like they're moving uh, with the moon right now uh, that's when we got the fish yesterday so let's get back to fish and see if we can get another one of these ohio muskies
All right, folks, where we couldn't do much else on day two. Day three was an absolute bust. It was cold, crummy. We tried a lake, uh, found some bait, and just couldn't get any fish to go. So today's the last gasp. It's day four. We're only going to fish a couple hours. So we're going to dump the boat in and see if we can't get another one of these Ohio muskies to hit. Okay, okay. Not very big. Or you want me to try to get him right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude! Dude, that's a nice little fish. Yep. Yes! Go. Ah! No, this is going a little bit more. But same shoreline. Oh yeah, a couple of pushes out from the tree. Do you want to measure it all, Nate, or no? I don't like to. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, against all odds, Nathan has caught a fish. Um, the water temp is literally just above freezing it is 33.6 it's sub 34 uh, but he was able, able to get one to hit a navin uh, right off of the shoreline that's getting the sun you got it out of there okay let me know when you're ready to go we'll take a look at this beautiful little ohio muskie on our last, last day of the trip so we're trying to uh put together a video here and this is a good start Nice little chunky fish here, eight inch navin, pull right off a treetop here. All, All right, right, man. Let's get her back, get another one. She'll go, she'll go, she'll go. Oh, there right. you go, buddy. And we just got started, what, we've been fishing 15 minutes? So, all right, let's keep going. Fortunately, we were able to get one more fish in the boat, uh, the boat which is unfortunately packed up and ready to head back to Wisconsin. But uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't really know where we were, we were gonna go for our spring trip. Pennsylvania, West Virginia were thrown around. Ohio was not really an option. And our good friend Cody Dalton said, hey, this is our best bet, is to try some of the spots he knows here. And sure enough, he put us on some fish. We got a couple of nice fish in the boat. Uh, or the shore, I guess in my case, so can't complain about that. Uh, we've got our, our new friend uh, Jabez in the background back here. He was, uh, him and his wife were gracious hosts and, uh, you know, to have two guys from Wisconsin just show up and uh, be able to hang out with them, uh, it was just, it was great. This musky fishing thing, it just, it, it's such a cool uh, people. There's such cool people that you run into. Uh, to make a new friend like that is just invaluable. So I guarantee we'll be back down here at some point, maybe even again this year. Uh, but yeah, Ohio treated us well. The weather didn't, but what are you going to do, right? All right, that's it. I want to thank Again, Mr. Cody Dalton, if you want to get out in the Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania area, he is doing musky guiding and bow fishing trips down here. Check his site out, ohiomuskie.com, Musky Addict YouTube channel, and then he also puts a lot of clips on TikTok. I'll put all that stuff in the description below. That's a wrap. Nate and I got to drive home, uh, so I guess we'll start doing that. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.